Hello, hello, my beautiful Aries. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Goretti. If you're new here, welcome. This is a little bonus December reading uh, for you all and the end of the year going into the new year. So a new year's uh, Eve kind of reading. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to do this. If you haven't already done so, please hit uh, the like button. Um, you know, at some point throughout this video as well, please share my videos and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I would love to have you here. Click on the bell icon button so that you get notified of new videos. And also I am doing another live on January 3rd. So if you would like a little mini reading, uh, first come first serve, uh, please make sure that you are there. I would love to have you love to meet all of you. I had so much fun last night doing that live. So, all right, <clears throat> let's get into your reading. So I already pre shuffled everything to make it go a little bit quicker so that I can get these readings in here for the end of the year for you guys. Um, and so the first cards I have here, um, was, and you also just like Capricorn got an extra card. I usually only am pulling three, but an extra one came out. So it says solar flares activate. So this is definitely very much a, um, an action card. This is very much, you know, um, what am I trying to say? Like the fire signs, right? You're an Aries. So this is very much about you taking action towards, um, and activating also something within you. So this could be an inspiration. This could be passion. So this is taking those first steps towards whatever these desires are that you have within you work, money, family, love, you know, uh, health, whatever it is. Um, but this is, you know, to take action towards this. Also, there is something within you being activated underneath the surface that some of you aren't really aware of, but the next card is a vision. So this is very much, you know, activating and taking action on, you know, these dreams, these visions, you have the inspirations, the desires, right? Um, you know, what is it that you're inspired by? What is it that you want to work on and go towards right in this coming new year as well? So really focus on your vision and take action on those dreams that you have. Okay. Now this activate, uh, card, you know, something being activated within you is definitely that many of you are really changing and transforming here with a Pluto card, um, a rebirth. Sorry guys, I know I really need to take a shower, but whatever, we're just doing this today. So um, Pluto here. Um, so check out where Pluto is right now. I'm really getting into astrology, but I can't for the life of me remember. There's something pretty big and important about Pluto right now. Um, so know that you are rebirthing and transforming. And for me, this is actually, you know, with the journey card here, that was the extra card. This journey that you're on, many of you are actually Actually, you know going to be awakened on a spiritual journey okay so some of you might not understand that quite yet um, but this is what is happening so that's that the next cards uh, that I have here it says come to the edge so this is all about you really taking risks taking action taking a leap of faith this is like you know the full card right so taking a leap of faith in the direction you know towards whatever this uh, new beginning is this inspiration um, you know, this vision that you have, right? It could be a person, it could be about, you know, a job, it could be starting a new business, it could be, you know, a love interest, right? The fates, this is like the wheel of fortune. So whatever this is, you know, destiny is here. Um, karma is coming in for you. This is, you know, you're destined and fated for something here for sure. Um, and so know that, you know, the universe has your back and is supporting you. Yeah, these wishes you know, uh, are coming into fulfillment. The wheel of fortune is here. Karma is coming, uh, to bring you your gifts and actually Pluto, Pluto, I believe brings in is it Pluto that brings in the gifts. I believe so. All right. So to be fair, Justice card also came out in your reading. So this is something that was out of balance is coming into balance regardless of what that is. It could be to do with legal stuff. It might not. Um, it could be money. It could be your health. It could be, you know, family, love, career, job, whatever. But whatever was not just 
it's coming back into balance. Things are going to be fair. Um, and then the extra card was about community. So some of you, especially those ones that are just awakening and, you know, even for those that are already awakened, community is very important here. You do need to connect with other people, um, like-minded people, and really kind of cultivate those relationships. All right. So you guys got a little bit of a bigger reading. That's how it came up. So in the recent past, the sun card. So this could be um, you really focusing on your happiness. The high priest is here. This is telling me that you're really, you know, um, either you've had a teacher uh, teaching you, um, you know, or you're gaining, you're gaining wisdom through the teacher. You're actually um, you know, possibly teaching, but what I'm getting here is in the recent past, um, you have definitely focused on your happiness here. You really went within and really tapping into your spiritual side and gaining that wisdom and also King of Pentacles, you're getting yourself stable here. Okay. Um, so the high priest is actually the hierophant here. Um, but you are definitely getting yourself stable and secure, abundant, right? sitting on your throne. This is very much, you know, taking your power back, right? In the current energy, we have the death card. This is a symbolic death and rebirth as we have here with Pluto. So definitely you guys check out where Pluto is um, in your birth chart and also where Pluto is right now. Okay. Cause there's messages there for you. Um, but this is definitely something coming to an end and at the center of your spread, which is beautiful, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a gift from the universe. Again, like I said, Pluto, I believe, is the one that brings in the gifts. Um, you know, and this with the Destiny card here, the Fates, right? You know, bringing in these gifts for you. So definitely, you know, lots of abundance is coming in for many of you. Could be financial, love, health, um, career, romance, right? Could be anything. And what we also have here is the Three of Swords. So what I feel like is you are putting an end or this, this heartbreak is coming to an end. Whatever this is for you could be anything. Doesn't have to be romantic, but whatever this, you know, painful thing is, there is transformation happening. This is a death and a rebirth here happening. Um, and what we have in the future is justice. So definitely scales are being balanced. This is also my karma card. So karma is coming in to balance out the scales with possibly this person, uh, from the past that hurt you here. Now I am getting a side message because we have the king of swords here as well as the five of pentacles. So what this is saying for me is what's coming to an end is actually this, loss, this struggle. Um, and also I'm hearing with King of Swords here, you needing to cut out lack mentality. Okay. Get out of that lack mentality. You are transforming here, put an end to this lack mentality, but the days of being out in the cold, the days of struggle and suffering, um, are coming to an end. This actually could be with the legal justice system, could be a divorce or something to do with like, you know, um, a business partnership or family inheritance, something like that. But definitely, you know, something to do legally. Justice is coming in to balance this out. King of Swords could be a judge, could be a lawyer, somebody helping you here to bring things back into balance after you've been, you know, kind of taken um, here. So, all right under oh and then uh, I always clarify a little more so here you are as the outcome the empress so this is all four queens in one doesn't matter male or female doesn't matter right <clears throat> but this is saying to me here that um you're definitely birthing new ideas. There's something new that's being birthed here and know that you are going to be abundant sitting in your throne, just, you know, receiving, uh, so much from, you know, the universe, you have all this abundance coming in for you. You have nothing to worry about. And when I clarified further, it's the 10 of pentacles. So this is, you know, your legacy. This could be inheritance. This is just abundance, wealth, health, um, 
the love, family, career, fulfillment, whatever it is, but you're going to have everything here. And why? Because you cut out what no longer served you with the Queen of Swords here. You, you know, the Queen of Swords has been through a lot in her life. She's quite wise, but she knows how to set boundaries and she knows how to cut out what no longer serves her. And you did set your boundaries here with the Nine of Wands. You definitely stood up for yourself. You know, you protected yourself. You stood your ground, had those boundaries put up, and you went towards your Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment, right? This is your wishes coming true. And then here you are as the King of Wands, Aries. I believe this is your card. So the King of Wands here, you are just sitting in your power, confident, you know, successful, self-assured, an entrepreneur. This could also have been Earlier, what I was talking about in the uh, Oracle cards could be starting a new business, um, but know that you're going to be very successful. You're very charismatic. Be confident. Um, but yeah, definitely you took your power back. You're a leader. You're a boss. Okay. That is beautiful. So underneath what we don't see is the Queen of Wands. This is you having your confidence. This is my confident, self-assured businessman or woman. You're really confident in whatever it is. The, whatever this situation is now for everybody it's a general reading so for everybody it's going to be different whatever this situation is just know that you're going to be confident or be confident okay you're going to have victory and success with the chariot here you are going to charge forward Six of Wands, definitely recognition, victory, success here. Things are really going to work out for you. Um, you know, you've kind of held on to um, what I'm seeing here is actually, I know this can be kind of a bad card here, but you definitely held on to your dreams that you hold close to your heart. Okay, so whatever it is, these dreams, uh, these wishes fulfilled with the star card here, they will be fulfilled. These dreams, you know, they're going to be fulfilled that you've held on to. Um, Eight of Swords here is saying to get out of your head. Some of you maybe feel stuck. Things could be a little bit stagnant right now. But just know that in the end, Queen of Pentacles is here. In the end, you are going to be successful, abundant, stable, secure, right? This is my, um, you know, single parent card, right? Hardworking. You know, you it's the Capricorn card too. So you might have that in your chart. But this is very much about, you know, stability and strength, abundance, um, growth. Just sitting there enjoying the fruits of your labor. This is what is kind of happening for you okay um and then i kind of just want to also quickly if i have some time here um there was a bit more that i clarified that i think is important okay there's some messages here for sure. Um, so two of pentacles, whatever this is, the justice that's coming in to balance out the scales, the karma, the fates card there. Okay. Um, it's putting an end to this juggling, you know, for me, I'm hearing for some of you, it has to do with your wealth or it could, uh, like money. It could be with resources. Like for instance, I'm hearing childcare, you know, having to balance and juggle as a single parent, right? Believe me, I totally know what that's like so you know um not having to juggle anymore uh that is coming to an end definitely for a lot of you it's about money not having to juggle about money and this is you know these sleepless nights the worries okay about um this person from the past with the seven of swords here this is a nine of swords having to worry you know this person of the past it, that is coming to an end this person uh you know the the rejection the loss here that is that's no more because it's upside down the four of cups here okay so that's not happening anymore um and also you know um this person I'm getting another message here for some of you. Hang on. This person, whoever this was for some of you, if this was a person, um, this person who is very sneaky, sly, a liar, cheater, stealer, this person is now having sleepless nights because they were rejected by you. Okay. 
you rejected this person okay two of wands is here this is you chose your path this is also my prayer card so definitely you chose the path and you're really focused on that and praying or manifesting this new path of yours because the magician card is here so you're definitely stepping into your power you know your powers you know that you have everything within you to manifest and create the life that you want Three of Pentacles is here. You're definitely working hard. Typically, it's with other people. This is like you, I feel like, because this is like the church, you know, kind of stained glass window. What I'm getting is you're really co-creating with the universe, with spirit, with, you know, God, with source uh, to create this passionate new beginning for you all here. There's the butterfly, that transformation card. You're definitely not the same person I just heard. And also this, yeah, this brand new beginning is coming for you. So we've got the 10 of wands in reverse. This is, you know, putting an end to the struggles. These struggles are coming to an end for you. Okay, put an end to these struggles. And the page of wands. This was actually, sorry, advice for you. Um, the page of wands is for you to really, you know, take that want, take that inspiration, take that passion, that passionate new beginning, whatever it is, money, family, romance, you know, uh, partnership, uh, work, career, health, whatever it is, this page of wands is definitely, you know, taking the first steps towards and going in that direction. Now, for some of you, what you don't see is this Knight of Cups. You With the Two of Swords here, you don't see this Knight of Cups coming in. So this is like, you know, romance. This is, you know, the Knight in Shining Armor, right? Some of you, male or female, doesn't matter. Some of you do not see this person coming in, okay? Some of you also are kind of guarded. Like I saw that with the Four of Pentacles holding, you know, the Pentacle in front of his heart. But some of you are definitely so guarded from this past hurt past situation whatever it was was difficult but you're definitely kind of blocking your heart from this and new person that's coming in what you don't realize it's it's the two of cups this is the divine union and match because the lover's card also came out this is an incredible this is like twin flame this is like the forever partner this is the person meant for you um this is what is trying to come in okay it's going to be very romantic and beautiful this person is your divine match this is a divine union and partnership very spiritual as well i'm hearing for some of you but you don't see it coming and also some of you are actually blocking it from coming so you need to do some work on your heart space okay that's what i'm hearing for you all what else did i want to say i think that was it that was it. It was 17.33 on the clock there. Um, all right, Aries, this is your December bonus, your New Year's Eve reading. Thank you so much for being here with me. Please like this video, share it, subscribe to my channel, and I am wishing all of you a very happy new year, prosperous 2023. I do see great things for Aries coming in. Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, and yeah, I wish you all the best. Peace, love, and light as always. Until next time, bye-bye.